Welcome back. It's time for the Robin Miller segment. Do I understand you want to introduce your fellow uh, Indian Appleite tonight? Well, I I do because. All those years that Robin and I covered IndyCar racing, we, uh, you know, he had his own room at the at the media center, and you never could go in there. You get tossed out. So finally, <laughs> I'm in a chair that Robin sat in, and and I'm nobody's going to throw me out. All right, Miller, how about it? Ron LeMaster's yeah. in your chair tonight, man. Welcome to the show. Well, I'm glad it's a guy that's probably going to have a little more longevity there than I will, because Despain's probably going to can me at the end of the year. I've lost every other job this year, so why not? <laughs> well, only do that if you're hateful, Robin. Let's get to business. We saw the highlights quickly of the race at the top of the show. Tell me what's going on with the ownership of the series. I hear they're not all getting along. Oh, it's unbelievable. The catch and jammer kids. You got Dan Pettit and Kevin Kalkoven who made all this money in Silicon Valley. They were PKV racing. Dan Pettit goes and buys Roo Sports, condenses it to R Sports of Paul Genalozzi. Well, supposedly Pettit was going to sue Kalkoven about something. We don't know if that's true or not. Jerry Forsyth said, no, no, no lawsuit. They're just kids. They just hate each other for six months at a time, and then they're buddies again. Don't you think the Christmas party would be great? So then you've got the, the two seater. Paul, Paul Stoddard comes over with Minardi and says, I want the two-seater in this series, and I'll run two cars. Jerry Forsythe says, I'm not paying $2.4 million for this two-seater. It's a Formula One car. It's not going to do us any good in champ car. Kevin Kalkovin says, you don't pay for this, half of this thing, then this guy's going to leave, and we're going to have 15 cars instead of 17 and look worse than we do. So I think what you've got here is you've got Pettit, Paul Genalozzi, and Forsythe kind of ganging up on Kalkovin in certain situations, and that's why it's such a wonderful, happy, open-wheel series. Robin, is there kind of a report card on the uh, on the new Panos chassis this this weekend? Yeah, I think the mechanics, Ronnie, would give it a D for difficult to work on. It was a disaster kind of the first week with the refueling problems and the leaky fuel cells. They made a lot of changes this week and they patched some things like the tubs. A lot of the tubs were cracked. I don't know. I didn't go through the paddock after the race. I don't know what the damage report is. The car's fast. It looks good. But Paul Tracy got hurt Saturday going 35 miles an hour. And you look back to 2005. The Panos chassis, Buddy Rice, Paul Dana, Bruno Giancara, all broke their back in a Panos chassis. Now, is it the seat? Is it because the nose didn't give any? Is it because of the way things are mounted? I don't know. I hope it's just a fluke. But when you've got your star of the series getting his back broken at 35 miles an hour, you might have a problem. And out for three months, which I guess given the schedule is only a couple of races, but still a long time. Talk to me about Cristiano D'Amata. I understand he was at the racetrack and uh, the past uh, series champion. You had a chance to sit down and have a, ch a chat with him. Well, and the good thing about Demonte is I, I saw him last year in the hospital, Dave, and his head was three times its size. He had a big Frankenstein scar. And even though he was making a little bit of sense, you're thinking, God, I just hope the guy can get back to 75%. Well, believe me, he's way past that. He's 100%. He looks great. He remembers everything except the, the month before the crash and three months afterwards. But he's talking about driving a race car again, not just any car, but a champ car. Well, I'm number one thing for me is to get back in racing. I know I can do that. You know, I'm just waiting for the words from the people that really understand about the medicine to tell me when I'm ready. I feel, I'm feel, I feel I'm pretty close. You know, it's if it if I have to wait longer. I don't know exactly what I'm going to say, but I don't think it's going to be too much. I don't think it's going to be too long because, as I said to you, I feel pretty normal. One of the great things about Demata, one of the most likable guys, but he's made such a quick recovery. Dr. Chris Pendorski said they really can't tell when they can let him race because they've never seen a guy recover this fast. So it's great news for a great guy. Robin, we appreciate the report. I heard the beeper throughout that report. Somebody's trying to steal your uh, rent car. So go check on that. And uh, thanks for being part of the show tonight. Have fun. See you, Ronnie. Ronald Masters. Perhaps only you rival Robin Miller in terms of love of American open wheel racing. Give me your take on that corner of the sport today. Well, I wish really that, that it, it would get fixed for so everybody could be together. I mean, you know, NASCAR is pretty much running them over. You know, I grew up at Indianapolis in, in the 70s with, with A.J. Foyt and Gordon Johncock and Mears and those guys, and that's where my heart really is. I wish it could get back to that day now. I got an email the other day from a guy who noted the differences in the chassis, and I don't have them right uh, the, in, the, in the cars, the IRL car and the Champ car, and his argument is, that's, that's one of the arguments why they can't get together, his argument is they're not that much different. It wouldn't be that difficult to come up with an equivalency formula and run those two series with those different cars together on the same racetrack. You well, buy no, that? I, I do buy that because you ha you can have, you've got a Penos here and you've got a Delara here. Uh, you just pick one, you know, pick one and go racing. You, you can't really 
tell me that that it's that hard to do. But if it's as difficult as Robin implies for some of these champ car teams to to buy the new car they have bought, how are they going to stand the price of yet another new car? That, yeah, racing does cost money. I, I understand that. It, it is a problem, but you know, if you want to go ahead for the long-term health of your series, then you need to make choices like that. You say, all right, fine, we're going to use this car. Everybody's going to show up and everybody's going to race. That's Ron LeMasters on Open Wheel Racing. We'll take a commercial break. Come back on the other side as Wind Tunnel continues. We're glad you're here. The whole clan bet brought to you by Alltel Wireless, and we will continue right after this.